Today I'm packing for the airport. I've left everything to the last minute in terms of putting it in the suitcase. It's time to um, pack my antler and get going. So everything from just, you know, your normal everyday items down to all of my safety gear, like back protector, helmet, all those kinds of things, along with my race day looks. So I have three race day looks. The silks I'm getting over there, yes, but everything else that I'm training in and working in as I get to know the horse at George Baker Stables is my own. I think I'm ready. You know, it's one of those things, like how long's a piece of string? You could keep doing this forever. I think if you prepared for a year, you would feel super prepared. I feel pretty great about where I'm at. I think the penny is dropped and everything is going really well. To thank the Jason Warren Racing team for all of their hard work and perseverance putting up with me over the last three months. Along with the Victoria Racing Club, we put together a nice little morning tea just to appreciate their efforts. You know, the main thing is, is she, she goes around safely and, um, and I think that's what we've sort of worked on more so than anything. And, um, you know, I, I certainly hope that she can win the race, but um, more so I just want to see her come home safe and sound and, and it all runs smoothly for her. I called George Baker, my trainer, the other week and had a good chat to him. He actually was really funny when I spoke to him. He said, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's like sending the ashes home to Australia, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. But I said, you can't think of it that way. It's Team GG, George and George. <laughs> so um, I think we are both quite evenly matched with our sort of competitiveness. He made, well, he didn't mince his words when he sort of started to outline how competitive he is about this race and how keen he is to provide another winning horse for it. Um, in fact, I think his words were something along the lines of, um, we've got plenty of time to come up with a cunning plan. <laughs> so I think he'll be pulling me aside at some point and working out our strategy. I have enjoyed the training experience. I mean, it's been really taxing and tough. And I will be exceptionally proud of myself for completing it because there have been times where I've thought oh god like it's too much you know um, I've definitely bitten off more than I can chew I really felt out of my comfort zone a lot of times. Georgia get over there and walk around please. Sure. But everybody that I've worked with has tried really hard to instill positivity in me. Riding it like that, yeah. that's how you got to do it. Okay. When I felt a little bit down or like I've been having a hard time with it Georgia, you don't need to necessarily be that short, so just loosen it a little bit. And I'll always look back fondly at this. Yeah, just all in all, I think I've enjoyed the challenge. You know, it's not something that I ever thought I would do in my life. And so to not only grab hold of it, but to continue along the journey, even as I said, when it got tough and to get to this point now, um, has been a huge highlight for me. So now it's just like, let's go and do the thing. <laughs>